Located on the I-5 corridor, Ridgefield is a fast-growing suburb in the Portland-Vancouver metro region. With business and population growth spreading northward, the community is attractive to large and small businesses, making it a vibrant downtown destination in the Pacific Northwest. As the city has grown, the Port of Ridgefield has become more active, making it home to one of the most popular waterways in the Evergreen State. Every year, thousands of visitors come to Lake River to enjoy picnics, fishing, and a host of other activities. You got the ski boats, wakeboarders, jet skis, and then you've got the kayakers down there too. So this is a very popular recreational area for sure. Over the years, railway and waterfront activity began to increase, causing noise and safety issues for the community. 70 plus trains run through here every day, going you know, somewhere between 40 and 70 miles an hour. Believe it or not, trains can sneak up on people and we have had fatalities here. With the nature of that particular crossing being rather steep, it was always a bit of a trick, people angling across. So we've been keeping our eye on for a number of years. In 2018, a semi carrying four vehicles high centered on the tracks and was hit by a train, sending the trailer and truck into Lake River. It was time for a change. This project was conceived by people in Ridgefield. Hey, our community is not safe. We need to do something about it. So let's go to work. In 2019, the community of Ridgefield commissioned Tappany Incorporated to complete the final phase of a project that's been two decades in the making to provide safe access to and from the waterfront. Uh, once this project's complete, this will be the main entrance to the boat launch and we can see upwards of 200 people on any given day. It's an 18 month long project. We are projecting about 20,000 man hours between crew and superintendent. With construction plans underway and the community on board, Tappany needed to work with the BNSF Railway Company to ensure safety, timing, and communication each step of the way. The most complicated aspect of this project is the coordination with BNSF. Uh, we have to shut down work anytime a train comes through. They come through every 20 minutes. The railway has been a challenge for planning and scheduling. The windows from BNSF designated when we could do work on the tracks. We had a very rigorous submittal process to show our exact plan. Every minute of our drill operation had to be written on paper and they have to go through it with a fine tooth comb and making sure we're forecasting out in front of us. In order to achieve the desired completion date safely and swiftly, the Tappany crew established a plan for completing the key construction milestones. You have certain tasks that need to be completed at a specific time to have the project completed on schedule. And the biggest tasks on this job were the drilled shafts and then the girders. The shafts were scheduled to be completed in the spring of 2020. And then the girders were set for the end of 2020 and it turned into the beginning of 2021 because of the BNSF moratorium. The bridge deck we completed before schedule by about a month thanks to good weather in the spring of 2021 and being able to push the schedule on the cast in place section. It was definitely a big exciting day to do our first deck pour, especially since we used a non-standard method using a spin screed rather than a bid well. It was a big step in this project. It's always important to complete a job on schedule and on budget. That is what we strive for every day. In addition to cooperation from the Port of Ridgefield, the railway and the community, the Tappany team relies on their strong network of subcontractors. Tappany has been a contractor that we've worked with for the past five or six years now. We work pretty close with them and they rely on our, our intuition about building construction as far as reinforcing or structural steel. The communication with Tappany is always on point. They're very communicative and clear about what they need from us as, as we are with them. So it was a definite teamwork. It wasn't so much of us being a third tier contractor, it was more of us just trying to build a bridge. When you get the right crew on the job, everybody's working at the same goal. You all know your responsibilities and it just makes every day just go fluid to the next day. It really just molds it together. Some of the guys who are working on this, their fathers or grandfathers conceived and decided that this was something we needed to do and then the next generation watched it get built. That's a beautiful arc. 
September of 2021, the community of Ridgefield gathered for a ribbon cutting ceremony to celebrate the completion of the Pioneer Rail Overpass by Tappany Incorporated. You know, we're here for a momentous occasion. It's been over a decade ago when we invited members from the Senate Transportation Committee, members from the House Transportation Committee, and we took them on a field trip across the tracks and down to the port area just to show them why it was necessary for us to have this beautiful bridge. And that show and tell really worked out well because here we are today celebrating the completion of this bridge. Tappany has just been wonderful people to work with. You couldn't work with a better group from top to bottom. The work that it took on so many levels and by so many different people to open up this bridge it's monumental. This to me is a symbol of what we can do when we all work together. Tappany, the company, has been phenomenal. They've been absolutely open about everything and uh, very conscious of the community, and we appreciate it. It's nice to do jobs when you're working on something that you're going to be using probably for the rest of your life. It is a serious sense of accomplishment. Tappany, we build what matters.